Instagram models eating up the cake. Watch it go right to your yo. What is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Today, man. Today we're gonna be answering some questions about these sneakers, man. You guys have been hitting me a ton, asking me a bunch of questions about these Yeezy V2 Pirate Black joints, the Black Static joints, whatever you want to call them. So I decided instead of just doing another standard review of the sneaker, we all know V2s. We all know this sneaker. We've seen this sneaker a bunch already. Even if you guys don't don't own it, you've seen the sneaker a million times. There's no need for a review, but I think there is a need for somebody to answer some of these questions that you guys have been asking me before you have to pay resale for the shoe. Before we jump into all that, man, I just wanna say, I know you guys are about to hit me and ask where I got the Ric Flair shirt because you guys did on Instagram the other day when it was on there. I'll put the link in the description below. You can cop it off Amazon, but it sells out really quickly and it's it's on there and then it's off and then it's on and it's off. So if the link doesn't take you directly to the shirt, it might take you to some other Ric Flair shirts or whatever. Just keep checking back until it pops back up on the site. But I will put the link in the description below for the Ric Flair drip go woo on a Ric Flair drip go woo on a bitch. Fifty seven ninety spent the. All right, man. Without further ado, let's jump into the shoe. Bang the Yeezy. Pirate Black V2 or Black Static V2. This is the non-reflective pair. There was a lot of people frustrated with this pair because it was thought that there were gonna be a lot more pairs that were supposed to drop that didn't drop. There was a lot of confusion. People were saying half the stock that should have dropped actually dropped on most sites. So these end up being a lot more limited than people thought, even in the non-reflective colorway. I will give you guys a quick look around the shoe or overview of the shoe, just in case you have not seen this shoe, you don't own the shoe. I think that'll also help you better understand some of the questions that people have about this shoe as we go to answer those. Diving right into the upper, the upper here, this is supposed to be black, but it's actually like a really, really light gray with hits of black in it. It's not, it's definitely not a pirate black or an all black upper. I think the um, OG pirate blacks were had more black in them than these actually do especially when you step outside. They look like a really dark gray or charcoal color, which doesn't bother me. I'm just letting you guys know what it is over here. Obviously you have the Yeezy rope laces over here. They are 3M, so they do have the reflective hits on there. You'll probably see a little bit of that in the on feet. We did do an on feet in shorts and pants. The homie Dallas is wearing shorts. I'm wearing pants. That way you guys can kind of see what the styling is like. As you move along, you have the stripe, little barely see-through. You can kind of see the uh, sizing tag back there behind there, then you move inside, obviously Adidas Yeezy branding, standard Yeezy outsole boost on the bottom, kind of has a little bit of a translucent or a see-through feel. Last but not least, my favorite part of the shoe, a lot of people's favorite part of the shoe, because it's kind of an ode to the OG Pirate Black uh, Yeezys, and that is the pull tab, man, with the red dots on there. Looks really, really nice, super clean. All right, so let's get into some of the questions I've been getting on this sneaker. And actually, probably number one, first and foremost, the most important thing you need to know before you pay resale on this sneaker is the sizing. As we know, Adidas has been wild with sizing on Ultra Boost, Yeezys, NMDs, nothing is consistent. So everyone is asking, are these the same as the Clays or are these the same as the older V2s? If you missed the last video I put out on the Clays, I talked a lot about sizing in there and how Yeezy has changed the materials on the shoe, which has also caused a change in sizing. So let's talk about this here for a minute. On the clays, I went with a true to size 12 and I've never had a Yeezy fit better. I leave the insole in, it's a 12, just true to size and it fits perfectly. Usually I have to buy a 12 and a half and go a half up if I wanna keep the insole in or if I get a true to size 12 in Yeezy V2s, I have to take the insole out in order for the shoe to fit comfortably. And there's still actually a little bit of cramming going on in my toes. On the new V2s, the clays, these joints here, you do not experience that. Now, if we're talking about the exact same fit as the clays, I would still say these fit just a tad tighter. Maybe not even noticeable to a lot of people, but I would say just a smidge tighter, but definitely still the new materials, definitely still the new V2 type fit. But I have seen some people going with their true to size on these and still pulling the insole just because they think it's a little bit more comfortable. For me, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna leave the insole in, true to size 12. They're gonna break in nicely, just like my clays. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but Adidas has definitely made some changes to the pattern here. And it's really, really weird because look at, uh, you look at this one here, right? It's got the new pattern. You look at the clays, it's got the new pattern, okay? Let me, uh, let me grab an older pair. Look at, the, look at these joints right here. Just not the same pattern, not the same kind of thing, not the same, and I'm not talking about the pattern on the prime knit here, I'm talking about the actual prime knit itself. It's just a totally different kind of vibe as far as the materials being used. This is a little bit thinner, this is a little stretchier, it's just a little bit more comfortable, which I think allows more of a true to size fit on the newer pairs. Here's what's weird. You take a pair like these, man, the white statics, bam. Look at these joints, right? They got the new pattern. They got all the new shit, all the new stuff I'm talking about, but they have the old fit. 
So it is super confusing when buying Yeezys. Maybe I should have just made this like a sizing video. Or maybe I'll make a separate video on Yeezy sizing. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want that. But it is crazy, man. So I'm not exactly sure where this started. For me, it seems like it was the Continent Pack. The ones that were uh, only available for different parts of the world. Three different pairs. It was these joints, the Hyperspace, and then the... Um, gosh, the other ones were awful. I don't even know what the hell they are. Uh... The gray ones, almost like Beluga 2.0 vibe, like super neutral, pretty boring. Yeah, that one there that you're screaming at the camera right now that I can't remember. Yeah, it's that one there. By the way, I feel like that region of the world got ripped off on this drop. Don't tell anybody. But yeah, man, that's when I first noticed the actual sizing change. This is when I first noticed the pattern change. But the sizing didn't change with this one. It changed with the clays for me personally. Now, I don't own um, any of the other region exclusives, the hyperspace of that other pair. So I would appreciate if you guys let me know in the comments below, man, are those, do those fit different than the other V2s like these clays do? Do they fit more true to size? Because these and the new pirate blacks or this black statics definitely do. So that's number one and the most important question I've been getting sizing on here. Are they like the clays? Yes, I would say go true to size. Once you get them, you can decide if you wanna leave the insole in or out. I've seen people doing both. People are still loving the comfort. And that's the bottom line. These are a lot more comfortable than your standard V2. I remember wearing um, some of the older V2s for a whole day, walking around, whatever. I don't know if you guys got the same feeling, but at the end of the day, my toes were a little sore, bruh. Materials are nice, same as the clays. Let's move on to the next question I've been getting, and that is, what are you going to do with your pair? Are you going to rock them? Just throw them on, go straight to feet, just like Dallas did. He said he's going to beat these into the ground. He loves this pair. He's not going to sell them for anything. Are you going to rock them? Are you going to resell them right away? Maybe just jump on the market. This is one of the more expensive Yeezys as far as resale goes in recent memory. So are you trying to resell really quickly and uh, profit and come up quick? Or do you wanna hold on to them, sit on the shoe, don't rock them, don't sell them, just let them sit there and gain value. As far as what to do with your pair, it's up to you, man. There are no wrong options here. I'm just gonna give you my opinion and what I'm doing with the sneaker. Now, because I have the breads here, all black Yeezy, boom, goes with everything. I don't really feel the need to rush these onto feet and to throw these onto feet. Not that I don't like the shoe, I just don't love the shoe like Dallas does or like some people I've seen. They just love the shoe and they go straight to feet and that's what it is. For me, I'm in the middle. I think the shoe is cool, not a shoe I had to have. It's cool, it looks great on feet, but because I have the breads, I'm good sitting on these for a while just to see what resale does because in my opinion I think it's gonna be one of those pairs that slowly rises over time and that's how I look at my sneaker collection if I don't have to have the shoe and I'm not super in love with the shoe why not wait a little bit sell this for a good amount of money and then buy two or three pairs of shoes that I really do love or buy a grail or a pair of shoes that I've been wanting man why have this in the collection why rock it when I got a bunch of other Yeezys and the shoe is just cool to me just doesn't make sense for me as far as my collection goes so that's what I'm gonna do man I'm gonna sit on these I'm gonna let resale rise and then uh, we'll see where it goes from there as far as the last question you guys were hitting me with a bunch resale on the shoe when would you pay resale for it right now is the absolute answer. Like I just said, I think these are gonna rise in value and I think if you buy them now, that's gonna be your shot at getting the best price. They're anywhere from 425 to about 500, depending on your size right now. I don't think they're going cheaper than that unless they do a restock, which that's just something none of us know. But if you're really wanting these and this is a pair that you need to have in your collection, I would definitely just go pay resale for them right now and be done with it. I'm actually about to do the same thing on the Sakai Blazers. I've been waiting for them to drop under 200 and I could have got them right around two, like 205, 210. I waited, now they're up about 230. 30 in my size and they're only rising. So I'm gonna go cop those later today actually, just so I don't have to deal with the price rising any higher because I see that's kind of where it's going. I would do the same on these, man. Just go buy these joints later today. Don't worry about resale price dipping all low and then you paid high, it's not gonna happen. It might dip a little bit lower than where it is now and I'm talking like maybe buy 10 bucks, a few bucks, whatever, but then that joint is gonna be on the up, up, up. That is about all for this video, man. I wanted to make sure I answered those questions for all of you trying to decide what to do with your pair or if you wanna pay resale, or what size you need, all that stuff. So hopefully that helped you guys out, man. Sorry we missed the podcast yesterday. RIP to Dal's grandma. He was traveling, we just couldn't get it done. But we will be back recording tomorrow and a new episode of the Most Underrated Podcast will drop on Friday. Thank you for supporting everything I do. I love the shit out of y'all and I will see you fools tomorrow. Hey, smoke no but I'm higher than a cloud now I've been lost, 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 but now I'm found
down Run my city where my feet be on the ground now The gears wow. all ten and I buzz like a killer bee No time but the real has be feeling me And I can pack a bill without open for him and she's a fuck If you hate and go ahead and try and get rid of me Boy, I go, we know, we go, that's the motto Log on to Twitter, all these people start to follow Last year I couldn't get a feature less, the price is right Now they hitting my management saying the boy is nice, man 2012 round round bandwagon fans love me since I made the countdown and Now they acting like we in though Labels say they'll take a bro where I ain't never been though I just I know nothing as I kinda sorta grin though Cause everything I said I do I'm making sure I did yo uh, So watch us as we finally bring it And if you feel the same then why don't you just sing it now to I've been me I've been down hey. Ain't smoke no but I'm higher than a cloud now hey. I've been lost 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 but now I'm found Run my city where my feet be on the ground now. now I've been wow. up, 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 and I've been down. Hey. Ain't smoke no shit, but I'm higher than a cloud now. Oh. I've been lost, 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 but now I'm found. Oh. Yeah, run my city where my feet be on the ground now. And wow. it go like this. This shit ain't easy, baby. But you gotta believe me, baby. Cause what's up must come down. And I think that theory even worked the other way around. Cause this shit ain't easy, baby. But you gotta believe me, baby Cause what's up must come down And I think that theory even worked the other way around Cause